Welcome back to The Full Story. My name is Jake Ariani, and today we're talking baseball. Former Aztec Steven Strasburg is getting set to make his World Series debut with the Washington Nationals tomorrow in Game 2 of the Fall Classic. We obviously don't have any access to Steven right now, so we did the next best thing. We went down to his alma mater, San Diego State, and we talked with the current baseball coach, Mark Martinez. Here's The Full Story. So what impact does Steven Strasburg pitching the World Series have on San Diego State baseball? Well, first and foremost, we're so proud of the accomplishments he's had up to this point. I mean, it's just been unbelievable to watch his career, you know, develop in the, you know, the past, I guess, 10 years in the big leagues, you know, from the moment he stepped on the field in, you know, Nationals uniform and had an opportunity to pitch. He had 14, you know, strikeouts and, and uh, really kind of have never looked back, you know, since then. He's just done a fabulous job. And so... Um, you know, I can tell you that I've, during the week, um, I, I've uh, since they've won the National League pennant, um, I've had a lot of chill, chill bone moments. It's been a lot of fun to watch, and I'm just so happy for him and and his accomplishments. We're very excited about uh, you know starting tonight, and obviously tomorrow it's a big day for San Diego State baseball as well. Mark, you had a no hitter this is his last time here. He stepped up in the postseason and pitched great. How do you think he's going to do on the big stage of the World Series? More of the same, like he's done in big moments? Well, I mean, I guess what your expectation is he throws a no-hitter in the World Series. I mean, that's uh, it's tough to do. But, you know, I think that leads to really kind of what's happened over his baseball career is, you know, his expectations have been set so high. You know, and, and when he, you know, has, a, I guess, a subpar year, he gets 12 wins or 14 wins and, you know, doesn't finish the season due to injury, um, it's a disappointment. But if you look over his career, even this year, it's been an unbelievable year for him. And so, um, you know, I'm going to be hanging on every pitch like everybody else. And, you know, hopefully there's a lot of success. And, and uh, we just hope he gets a W. You know, obviously a seven pitch, you know, seven inning shutout and, and lead, you know, lead the game with the lead would be unbelievable as well. That's a baseball guy. What are some things that he could do you think that worked to his advantage against that Astro lineup? Well, what he's done all postseason is he's kind of kept the, the hitters off balance. He's kind of sped them up, slowed them down. He's, he's had a tremendous changeup throughout the postseason. And I think that's been his pitch, you know, his go-to pitch to get, you know, white people out, not only with strikeouts, but soft contact. So it's been a lot of fun to watch. You know, it's, it's a different style of pitching than what he hit, hit, had here at San Diego State. You know, you know he, he could dominate with his fastball. Um, a college lineup, you know, and I think once you get to the big leagues, everyone's throwing in the high 90s, it seems like. And so he's found a way to pitch to his strength, you know, and one of his strengths, obviously, is his curveball and his changeup, you know, and his fastball still can range anywhere from 95 to 98. Um, but the best thing, or the, the thing that I've seen he, him do so well is speed guys up, slow them down, keep them off balance, and, um, you know, it's been really fun to watch. And he doesn't walk anybody. When he got hurt, what did you think? Which time? Well, when he had the, the, the major surgery. Um, well, you know, it, it's just, uh, gosh, it, it's heartbreaking, you know, when, when some, something hap happens to not just Steven, but any of our former athletes or anybody that's having an opportunity to play at the next level. Um, you know, the first thing you think is, you know, oh, my gosh, what's going to happen? How's his ca career going to end up? And um, but at the same time, you also understand the, the amount of uh, work that Steven has put into his craft, you know, starting here at San Diego State and leaning into his professional career, um, you, the, the outlook was pretty still, still pretty good. You know, it wasn't cloudy for sure. It was definitely a, br a bright future for him because we knew that he was going to work his tail off to get himself back to compete at the highest level. Have you been able to speak with him at all in the recent weeks, months? Um, not in the recent weeks, um, especially during the playoffs. I'm a baseball guy, so I'm very superstitious. You know, and um, it was very hard for me to push send after they won the National League championship. I hope I didn't jinx anything. So um, I, I did wish him congratulations, him and his wife, his family. Um, but at the same time, I, cr I tried to almost didn't push send on that deal because I'm superstitious. So hopefully I didn't mess it up for the Nationals and Steven. What does it mean for your players now, or current players, that they see a guy that graduated from San Diego State and now he's pitching the World Series? I mean, does it give some of these guys that are playing in the Mountain West hope that they can make it to that level? Well, absolutely. But not only that, as Steven's connected to our players, you know, he knows a lot of our guys. He comes out and works out in the off season, so he's connected to our program. So there's a big sense of pride with our guys. You know, it's uh, um, you can hear him out there talking about Steven or, or you know, even some of our guys, you know, talking about Strasburg changeup, those kinds of things, and so. 
Um, does it give him hope? Absolutely. But at the same time, he's just done so much for our program, you know, being involved with our guys and, and impacting them, not just on the baseball field, but in life lessons as well. It's been 10 years now since he was here. When you, when you sit back and watch him on TV now, does any particular memory come back or is it a flood of memories? What, what happened? Well, I mean, the, it, it's funny you say that because, you know, every time he does pitch, you get my expectations just like everybody else are pretty high, you know. So, of course, when I flash back is, you know, the first thing every time I see somebody strike out, the first thing I think about is a 23 strikeout game, which is unheard of. Um, but, uh, you know, and, and a funny story about that is that I didn't even know he's, he's had that many strikeouts. It was a one nothing game against Utah. And um, so we were on high alert the entire game. And so when the game finished, Rusty Filter punched me and said, that's 23 strikeouts. I had to go back through my book and, and start counting them as everybody's crowd in the field. And I'm like, holy cow, that's 23 strikeouts. That's pretty amazing. Um, but the no-hitter, you know, for, for him to finish his career here against the, you know, in front of a jam-packed stadium and, and throw a no-hitter on his last time on the Mesa was, again, I just got chills thinking about it just now. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I am stoked to see Steven Strasburg go take the bump for the Nationals in Game 2, just as a baseball fan and a San Diego sports fan. It's, we need more of this. So very excited. Game 2, Wednesday at 5.08 Pacific time. Go Steven Strasburg. Go Aztecs.